All right, guys, we're back in another adventure today. Today, we're going to be talking about spanning tree priority. It's really cool. It can help stop network loops and network loops nobody wants to have. That's when your uh, switches and gear get overloaded with um, requests and they don't stop. And the only way to stop them sometimes is either unplugging the equipment and then it's just going to happen again or resetting them. So, yeah, let's get this fixed. And, hey, it's probably going to improve the speed of your network, too. But hey, you don't have to worry about this if you only have one switch other than your router. It's if you have multiple switches other than your router. So let's get into this video. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm using network 8.3.32. We're gonna go to the spanning tree protocol now on Unify. So we got my network here. If we go in, we got my main switch right here. You see this little thing, it says multiple switches have the same STP priority. So by default, these switches are gonna have it. If I had one switch and didn't have these other two switches, it wouldn't matter then. The spanning tree priority is non-existent. Don't even have to worry about it really, other than looking at your stuff and what's connected to what. But I have multiple switches and um, it can so when I plug a device in and it sends information it's gonna broadcast and it's gonna try and look to see what's the root switch and it might go by the Mac address or whatever but we're gonna help it we're gonna give it like a, a map to the buried treasure and we're gonna say hey send all this data directly to this main switch here it's the most powerful switch in my network and it's gonna get it fastest to the network or get it to the devices that it needs best and without that the, the uh, other switches have to try and figure out like where do i go where do i go and instead we're going to give it a map saying hey this is the least path to get to this main switch don't worry about those other switches don't even broadcast to those we're just going to go right to this other one here and bypass all those and get it to the most powerful one as quick as possible as we can because that one has the internet plug goes into that one and then the internet goes from there and goes to all the other switches and stuff in the network loop. So, I mean the network stack, sorry, not the loop. We don't we want to stop loops here. Uh, so what we're going to do is, as you can see this message, you can even learn more about this if you want to. Understanding the multi-gate multi, multi -gate network loops. It'll tell you right here, give you a little demonstration here of all the information. As you can see, two other switches are plugged in here and if we go over, we can bring it down, tells you the best practices, centralized switches to avoid over utilizing built in switch ports on the Unify gateway. Instead, uh, use one Unify switch as the core switch. So basically, that's what we're going to pick. And you're going to want this switch to be your most powerful switch that you have, because if it's not, you're having all this information here. It can kind of bo uh, bottleneck it. You can see performance dips and all that stuff. Um, but you're probably already having those anyways. I mean, so what I'm going to say here is here's my main switch. And the cool thing is too, if I had another one of these switches and I set this one to the main prior as the root switch, and then the second switch of the same kind is plugged into the router too. And everything and all the other switches are plugged in that with multiple cables. If this switch goes down, it's going to go to the next switch in line. I'm not as rich as that to be able to afford another six, seven hundred dollar switch just for that for occasion. This isn't like a crazy business where I need this rocket every time, but I'm going to do this to speed up my network anyways, because I want this to be my core switch. So to get rid of this, what I'm going to do is click on the switch here in the spanning tree. Oh, we're going to go to settings and I want to go down to the priority and we want to, I want to set this one to zero. because This is my main switch. This is my beast mode here and I'm going to hit apply. Now I would do this after hours, the message already went away because this is my main switch now. Now it knows everything else, where to send it to. Now, just because I don't want things having the same thing and I'm kind of anal about this, I'm going to go to this switch here. This is my next biggest switch. Even though it doesn't, I'm just going to do this because it to make it where everything just knows which switches are the main. We're going to go here and go to settings on this one. And I'm going to set this one to 409 Hit apply. And then my least, less important switch, where's this little one right here? Oh. We're gonna set this one to eight. Boom, because I have three switches. 
Uh, now, the other thing I wanted to tell you, the, the, the little mini flex switch, I think it is, flex switch mini, the five ports on it, that does not have the ability to change it. It's kind of like it's a dumb switch anyways. These are layer two and layer three switches. So layer two and layer three are the switches you're gonna wanna do it for. But yeah, now that my network knows, it knows that this big switch mama here is the main master of disaster. It can handle everything. It can handle everything at it at once, and it's gonna spread that out and say, you go here, you go there, you do this, you need network, network, grab down here, go here. It can handle all that stuff, because it's the powerful beast one. And the other ones, instead of overloading them, just go, oh, don't take it to the other switch. We don't need to do anything. We don't need to process it or whatever. Just take it to the big boy. Take it to the man on top. And then he'll send it where it needs to go. But yeah. Hey, I make these videos for you guys. I hope you like these videos. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And hey, what I always say is, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, catch you in the next video, and have a rock and rolling day.